Hello everyone and uh, welcome to my first tutorial of uh, Life is Fuel on how to make a server. Um, I know there's a few people out there who have made a, a listing on my videos on how to make servers but uh, I did run into a few problems myself so I thought I'd make one and go through some of the a couple of the technical problems I had at the at the end of my video. So uh, let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is download the Maria database. Um, so if you open up a Google page and then type in Maria DB, and then you'll have the Welcome to Maria DB. So if you click on there, and then if you go to your downloads page, and then you're looking for the Maria 5.5 series. Uh, not the Galeria cl cluster, you don't want that one. So if you go to the that one, to download that, and then if you just click on Windows, and then it's uh, it's that one there, which is your Windows. So it'll download that. Um, now I've already downloaded that, so I downloaded it here earlier. So if we double click on that to start it up, and then if you install it, Okay, if you click next and then just agree to the license, if you just click next and then um, you just need to create a password for your root user. So if we just make a small password and then just put it in again uh, and then just leave it as it is. So if you click next and then next again oh, yeah, and then just install that. <laughs> Okay, finish. Okay, you'll have um, this new Heidi SQL appear. So if you open that up, and then if you click on new, and then if you just type in uh, life is futile, and then what you do, if you leave it as 127.0.0.1, that's your loopback address, and then you type in your password you'll be able to access this database. Okay, you'll already have a few in here. Now, what you do, um, to do this, you right click on your database that you made, put create new, and then put database. And then just type in whatever you want for, I usually type in something like that, just to uh, make it so I know which world I'm going to have. And then if you do the collation and then you set it to uh, UTF-8 and then it's the general CI. Then click OK and then you've now got a new database created. OK, so that sorts that out. Now what you need to do uh, on this bit, if you go to your library and then you go to uh, your tools and then you need to download this Life is Feudal dedicated server. So if you right click on that and then open it up so you can get the local file local fol files. Uh, shouldn't take long. Right, okay. So if I do that, so send it over there. Okay, why is that downloading? I'll just go over to it. So, K drive, and then it's in my Steam library, Steam apps, common, and then it will be in your dedicated server there. Okay, <coughs> so that stirs up. So, what you need to do now is uh, <laughs> In your, uh, where is it? Going? In your scripts, there's um, sorry, no. In your SQL, 
uh, if you open up that and then edit that so you have this will be a new world and then if you control and uh, see that to copy everything come over to your database and then if you go to the query tab copy and paste that into there and then it will all be up there uh, if you press this little down tag next to the run if you send the batch in one go and then press run it'll, t it'll do it pretty quick but you should be looking about 13.1 meg for that for that database okay uh, that's finished now so if we just right click and then put refresh see about 13.1 meg okay so that's your database all sorted so if you close that down uh, no to that if you want to do the patch um, it just adds a few bug fixes and that uh, you do exactly the same with the patch just open that up and then copy paste this in the, in the exact same way and your update okay um, so what you do now is if you go to your configuration you've got your world and if you edit that Right, it'll come up with your ID, your name of your world, and then the password. If you want to enable GM mode, um, you just put a password in between the brackets here. Uh, keep all this the same, pretty much. Um, obviously, your skill cap multiplies how quickly uh, your skills go up when you uh, do certain uh, actions. And then you got your skill cap. Um, terraforming, I've put quite high because it is quite slow to actually do when it's this low your crafting period uh, is how quickly your materials it like checks your materials uh, when you're actually burning stuff so say if you're trying to melt iron down um, it will actually have the temperature bar go up quicker um, your animal breeding period uh, it tells you you know uh, it will check how long it will be before each kind of cycle if you um, so the lower this number the quicker it checks on whether um, they've been um, doing like you know the dirty business kind of thing <laughs> so um, but yeah so the lower that is the the quicker it checks that helps that definitely helps with your animal law if you want to get that up quicker uh, day cycles is um, so that would be three hours um, so say in a three hour period you'd have an, uh, an hour and a half of like, daylight, an hour and a half of um, darkness etc uh, your animal count uh, is how many kind of spawn points you have around your island and then obviously your max players um, it's worth noting taking the, the port number because you will need that um, but so if you change any of that then it will affect your world directly okay so um, if you go back to the docs <coughs> in here if you edit the local config and then um, if you leave this the same or you can change it to local host it doesn't really matter um, I usually just leave it as 127.0.0.1 um, you root password for your SQL and the actual password itself so mine was just that just a simple password okay so save that <coughs> and then what you do is you copy this into the main directory in here okay so if you go back into your docs again and then you've got this uh, this my here so what you need to do is this file, uh, this text here We'll need to go into the MarioDB My Ini as well. So if you click on your MarioDB and then go into there, and then you copy this across, so this needs to go before the client anyway. So if you copy it across, uh, some of it will be the same, so you just need to delete out the ones that are the same. So we got that one. Uh, OK, 
how to say it. Okay, yeah, that looks about right. So if you save that, and then that will make it so your database and your actual game connect. Okay, and then uh, that should be everything. And then, so what you need to do is to make sure it, it works. If you right click on your the actual server application, so the exe, send it to the desktop, and then you right click on it and put properties, and then in the target, you need to put so space and then world ID and then one which is to actually connect to the world ID in the config which is this one obviously if that was a two you would put two at the end of here as well so if you are okay that don't save that and then uh, double clicking this should cause it all to work okay so what it'll do now is it'll generate all the, the landscape and where all the trees and animal points are and then you'll know it's finished when it comes up saying uh, steam initialized so just give it a couple of minutes to do that Um, I was going to say while this is doing this, um, there are a couple of remote command. If if you're actually um, trying to connect to your server via your own PC or via a LAN PC, so you've either got the uh, like the 192.168 kind of IP address, um, you will you won't be able to actually connect to it via the lobby at the moment because it will time you out. So uh, what you need to do there's a couple of commands that you need to know. Uh, there's this one, well this is the one that you want mostly. So it would be this one here. So you got join to remote server, uh, open parentheses and then uh, you open speech marks and you put, the, put your IP address in with the port number and then you put the password in as well and that will allow you to directly connect to your server that you've got running on your computer. Uh, if you're connecting, you can also do this via remote as well, so um, obviously you'll have like another IP address there for instance uh, which would be outside of your network. I found this the easiest way to connect to your actual computer, well to your servers. Um, okay, so that's now fully initialized, and that world that world is effectively now up and running. Um, so it's running on port two eight hundred, I'd say two thousand twenty eight thousand. There you go. So what you do is to actually log into that. If you open up your game. and then obviously come to there so and then you press control and then um, the app button which will open up your console so if you do this command again so it was uh, join to remote server obviously I don't this is uh, currently first server that I've got on my other computer and then if you've got no password on it just remove the password so and also just put your own IP address in so mine is dot fifty, and then it will connect. So and there you go. You've got create new character, and uh, obviously if you've got a character already made, you can play that. Okay. Uh, if you're having any trouble actually starting a server, like it will just boot up and then quickly stop. The first thing you want to do is actually check whether your MySQL is actually working. So what you do, if you click on your computer and then put manage and then uh, if you go to services and applications and then if you go into the services 
and then uh, if you scroll down to find um, MySQL sometimes this hasn't been enabled or it's actually stopped and then if you just click properties and then uh, you press start and then it should get you back working okay right um, okay I hope you've enjoyed the, uh, the actual tutorial and um, hopefully I'll be back soon with some more uh, thank you very much and goodbye <laughs>